YouTube, what's going on? Air of Carthage here. What the crap's going on? Sorry, I messed up my own intro line there. I know some of you hate it there, but um, I don't know. It's just me. I've just been saying it for a while. But anyway, how are you doing? I'm glad to be back. Sorry there weren't any videos uh, up this... Well, when I say this, it's going to be past, but there was a break in the videos for a day. I took a day off, spent some extra time with the family. I am out on um, FMLA leave for the last week or so, which uh, I get off work, basically, because had a new child, so took a little extra time off. I know I was already off, but yeah, took some extra time, because why not? I don't get this kind of stuff very often, and um, it was nice just spending some extra time there with the family, but I'm glad to be back. Glad to be making you some more videos. We need to get down here, and we need to take out um, the greenskins at Blightwater and uh, get to work. We we got to hold the Black Crag, which is going to be huge, like in terms of money. It's going to help us really fund some sweet armies. To battle. Um, Throny the Orc Bane. He is now level 25. 25, Throny. Rune of Grimnia, Relentless, Ancestral Grudge. I don't want to put anything else there, because we're about to be done. Block Winds of Magic. Nah, not worried about it. Rune of Spellbreaking. Awareness. What does Awareness do? Maybe makes it less likely that I get people assassinated. Power Reserves. Damage settlement, additional 5% building damage. I mean, none of this stuff is just very interesting to me. It's just not... Enemy winds of magic. I guess one way or the other, they want me killing winds of magic with this guy, so... Sure, there we go. <laughs> is what it is, I guess. Um, yes. The Master Engineer. We finished requisition with him. I'm not interested in making his own stats better, so... Reload time in siege battles for towers. Not interested in that either. A little extra range for artillery, maybe? Or a sapper? Extra speed for artillery? Sure. Put one there, too. Okay. Um, Belagar Iron Helmet. Belagar is all the way up to level 30. That's pretty slick. Belagar is doing good. Let's end the turn. Get some of our movement points back. Get back on the campaign trail here. And I don't mean the Gorbul campaign trail. Not in this case. I know I usually am. I need to make a follow-up video to the elections, but it's been so long now that, I don't know, it may not be, may not be relevant anymore. But needless to say, Gorbol always wins. Let's see, the Redhorn tribe was destroyed. Uh, well, not whatever Gorbol was in the Redhorn tribe, though. Let's see, settlement. I say Gorbol always wins, and a message pops up <laughs> stating that one of the uh, clans had been destroyed. Uh, we're going to chase these guys down. Varmints. And I'd like to kind of refit Belagar's army a little with some uh, proper units. Let's move him Lord down here. So, let's take a look at what's available to us. Why is the local... Oh, can I recruit a unit? Have recruited the maximum. Oh, okay, yeah. So, which units would I want to get rid of would be the question. Um, we could let these dwarf warriors go to another army. And I know I get awesome buffs to dwarf warriors in this army, but we're gonna need we're gonna need something with a little more substantial. Moving on in, these miners can go to a different army. And I mean, the rangers with great weapons are really cool. And these guys are like gold chevron, which I mean, it does make them pretty slick. But again, I'm not sure how sold I am on all of this stuff. I, I want to get some really, really good stuff here. I still can't recruit some of the gyros I want, so I shouldn't have gone through here getting rid of stuff until I was ready to swap it. So that was pretty intelligent. That was smart. Brilliant. <laughs> Let's get into the global stance. Um, so yeah, whatever. I'll fix that on the next turn or so. We'll just save a little money in the meantime while stuff got disbanded. Go ahead and start building back up Crooked Fang Fort. We'll get rid of these uh, raiding gobos. Their days are numbered. Um, I had spent some money back here in the uh, the main settlements. Okay, and then here I was trying to think. We were going to put we were going to put the mustering hall out here because it can be. And then I was going to swap in another building here, and I don't remember which one it is. There's the Slayer Shrine. We've got the um, Hall of Oaths. 
Up here we've got the gun chain. We're going to need though... You gotta have a Gromriel Forge. Rune Forge. Okay, so we have to have at least a second level Forge. And then the organ guns and the other stuff. So what we need is in this province at the main chain we're going to need the engineer's workshop and at the other province um, we're going to need the forge so let's go ahead and put the forge there all right now we should be able to make some moves okay we have made our moves yeah we're good let's end another turn i need to look at the victory conditions to see what victory conditions I need to be aware of. Hopefully the uh, main dwarf faction there is going to keep the greenskins busy. There's some more mutinous gets just what showed luck. up. Block army was successful down here. Wow, and uh, one of my guys got wounded. That's annoying. That would be this guy here. Alright, so he's going to be wounded for four more turns. Whatever, we'll just put this other rune lord in the army for now. Because all we're doing is just face rolling undefended settlements. Except this one has walls, so... Let's just go ahead and continue the siege until I have the battering ram. I need to get some siege equipment into these armies because it makes it to where I don't have to worry about that. Now, we got a bit of a situation here, but it's manageable. Let's get to Vallea's Sorrow, and then we will continue to chase these guys down here. So now we can block off this army. Well, I'm going to go ahead and get these two units back, because I may need the extra infantry if we have to fight these guys. Let's see. What's in the old global pool up here? Still missing a lot of the units that I'd like to have. Let's just... I shouldn't have gotten rid of my Dwarf Warriors now, because they lost some of their experience. What do I got? I got a couple Skirmishers, some Flying Units, some Artillery. Let's just put a few Longbeards in here until I am able to recruit what I want. I'd like to get some better units in there, but let's just do that for now. Okay, uh, who do we got over here? Azag the Slaughter with three giants. Wow, we're definitely going to need all these thunders. That is a lot of giants. Azag is, is coming back strong. Alright, Volatile Volley is completed. Interchangeable parts. Upkeep cost for artillery. Let's keep working some of this artillery line. I want to get some crazy artillery. Flame cannons, hopefully. These flame cannons are absolutely devastating against the AI who's too stupid to properly deal with them. Yeah. You've been asking me how many times to join the war against the vampires? How's that going so far? Just out of curiosity. Okay, the uh, turds are on the run there. Oh no, they blocked my army. It's actually kind of a big deal because I still can't catch up to these guys. That's annoying. Stupid mutinous gets and their agents. Okay. Got our army here. Let's uh, head back out and start chasing these guys now too. I'm going to get down here in front of them and try and force them back the other direction. Maybe we'll intercept them. And we've got Azag and his army of giants up here too. Let's go ahead and uh, take out Death Gorge real quick. Even if Azag and his army are successful for a turn or two, they won't be for too much longer than that. Alright, we secured Death Gorge. We got plenty of growth in this chain, so let's go ahead and spend some money elsewhere. Okay. Um. Let's buzz through one more turn in here real quick. We can put a, an edict up here. Let's do the growth and tradable resources. Can I help you? And then King Lun, the benefactor here. 
let's see, Blade Shield, Drill Master, we're finished, Iron Willed, Defiance, helps him clear out stuff, Barracks Raider, yeah, I'm not really interested in that, Inspirational, Scourge Populace, let's just um, go ahead and give him more melee defense, just make him that much tougher. What? This is the Rune Lord down here. At least one of them. Gonna have a couple of them. Just give him the Rune of Might. Okay. Let's see. Hopefully we get some fights going here with the green skins. So Azag and his giants are upon me. Holy giant. Wow. Talk about happy-go-lucky with the spam there, Azag. Woo! Man. I'm gonna give the speed buff to the, uh, Skolder Guard here. If we can just... Uh, I don't know if we can win this or not. Let's try it. This will be fun. <laughs> can we kill seven giants? It's a good question. I'll have a height advantage. And I have the guns. The greenskins lack missiles, generally speaking, here. I got a bunch of units with charge defense. If my rune lord has any decent abilities, which he does not, unfortunately. But we can hex the giants. One enemy. Won't be much. Okay. Well, we're gonna have to make do with what we got. Uh, let's mix the long beards into the dwarf warriors so that we get the uh, morale support. We're gonna need kind of a main line here. And then let's get our gun line. These guns are going to be absolutely critical to my efforts. Rune Lord right behind the men to help buff the stats. And then let's keep the great weapon units in the back. Maybe help against more mobile units. And then the Skolder Guard. Let's keep them back here as well. And we'll maybe try and hit large targets with them or something. Yeah, they have to attack me, which is good. Okay, we're going to take up this position right here on the hill. As we have done before. Take up this position slightly behind. And we should have good shields and armor on our front line infantry. And then, I mean, my guns can kill the giants relatively quick. We've got really nice missile damage, solid range. I'm actually going to start the guns off in front of my line and let them get some extra shots as the enemy approaches, and then we'll back up. Okay, let's fast forward, because we're going to actually have to get the uh, enemy up here. The waiting is the hardest part here, folks. And the Black Orcs are a concern, but I'm not going to shoot at them. Um, I think most of the other units can be stopped. The Giants are the big, big concern to me. There's Boars as well. If they get around the flanks, my Warriors with great weapons should be able to help pick them apart. The guns are going to have to survive here. Oh crap, I forgot about their artillery. That's bad. Because this is not just any artillery, it's the Hammer of Gork, which means it's going to be extremely accurate. We can't afford the hits on our uh, Thunders, we're going to have to back up. It's already killed um, eight of my Thunders and caused big damage. Gosh dang it, stupid Hammer of Gork. That's going to be a problem. Yeah, the Hammer of Gork is going to be a problem. If I can just keep my guns away from it, though, we'll see. Let's keep fast-forwarding for a minute. There are a few um, goblin archers. Golly, that hammer of Gork is just destroying my infantry here. It's already taken down almost half the health on my long beards. Piece of crap. I think it's scooting up trying to get in range of my uh, 
guns or something. I can't tell what it's aiming for. Alright, we're gonna get some good shots on these boars. That's worthwhile before the giants get here. Single gyrocopter would have been very, very helpful here also. Let's pop a couple shots into that fight. There's more boars over here. Alright, the quicker we can take these guys down, the better. Try and do some damage. Okay, there's giants starting to come into range. You all focus on that one. You all focus on that one. Yeah, the Giants are dropping very, very quick to the Thunder of Fire. Scolder Guard should get some work done here on the Black Works for me. Come on, take him down. Take him all the way down. Let's back up just a little more. Yeah, the giant just tore right through my main line. That was somewhat expected here. Alright, tear this giant down. Crap, dang it. All the boars and everything are trying to get through here. We gotta keep the thunderers alive here. This is it's not negotiable. What are you... Gosh, dang it. Get back in the fight, you dummies. Scolder guards getting hammered now. Let's get the Rune Lord over here. We took down a couple of the Giants. Let's focus this one out now. See if we can save the Scolder Guard. Crap dang it, my warrior's terrified over here. And we've got four boys coming around, of course. That's terribly inconvenient for me. Yeah, there's too much terror amongst my dwarf warriors. So we can use the Scolder Guard to any effect here. Yeah, all my guns are caught up in melee now, so it's over. Trolls and other units broke through me. Trolls don't normally just break straight through dwarf infantry, but the difficulty factor here is going to play a role. They have all these monsters, it's just a matter of time. We did kill a couple of their giants, though. So that'll be a worthwhile impact. But we're going to have to uh, get revenge here. If I could have protected my guns, we definitely could have brought down more. It looks like we managed to get two, maybe three giants. No, that one's going to get to come back. So we only ended up getting two giants. That's frustrating. And they got their boars back, too. That's also frustrating. We didn't do much good there. But I've got my main army, and Azag won't be able to pull that crap against my main army. And I'm not even sure he has it in him to, to get through another one of my armies. So let's just go ahead and auto-resolve this. They're going to get some uh, one-ups on me here because of Azag's bull crap there. Where's that other mutinous get army? If it moves, I should be able to intercept it. There we go. We're going to destroy it. I don't want to fight this one. It's just a boring army. Leadership. I don't know who extra leadership would be good for it. Maybe the rangers and the quarrelers. They've probably got lower leadership than anything else. Okay. Grudge successful. Grudge issued. Grudge issued. Assassinate was a success. That's annoying. Now look, we got two wounded, uh, wounded rune lords here. That stupid greenskins. That's what they're good for. All right, we're gonna get into this settlement. We're gonna push Belagar's army back down here, and um, hopefully we'll get another crack at these mutinous gits. Really. They raised the settlement. What a bunch of crotches. Yeah, I don't think that these guys can survive a fight with this army here. So I'm going to push out this way. 
And I'm going to push out this way underground. And we'll deal with the mutinous gets once we get an opportunity. All we can do is a global recruitment here. Uh, well, I definitely need the morale that comes with long beards. So let's get some long beards into that army. Because we saw there that having units that break due to fear and terror is not going to cut the mustard against the types of enemies that we were up against. There we go. Let's go ahead and end the turn. Seven giants. Good answer, greenskins. Good answer. Oh, they probably assassinated my lord right there. No? They didn't, and it's still saying these guys have an advantage. I actually disagree. Depends on what kind of magic that Azeg has. He's got his crown of sorcery, which is pretty crazy. He's got a bunch of stuff here. A 20% ward save, too. Yeah, Azag's pimped out over here. Like I said, though, as long as my gunners stay alive, these guys are bone. So what I'm going to do is just go front line of long beards because they're not going to break. And then I'll keep my dwarf warriors in reserve to guard my guns. So they'll be like a second line because I'm too I'm worried that as a front line. And I've got this King Lun here, too, which Azag probably deals magical damage at this point. I know that he has... Um, For the I know that Azag will have actual magic, like spells that he can use. I'm going to put actually... Yeah, I'm probably going to put a couple of dwarf warriors like second line like that, so that if, you know, the troll or something else punches through the main line, there's a second line to catch them. There we go. And then I'm going to put the Rune Lord and my Thane there. Okay, so his boars are still around. Shouldn't be enough to get through my men. Let's back these guys up for just a second. There we go. Stupid hammer of Gork. Gosh, that thing's annoying. Now I know how the AI feels when I have a lot of level 9 artillery. <laughs> it's freaking annoying. It ends up wrecking your units. What is it targeting? It hasn't done as well this time. It's only got one kill. I'm going to get rid of these freaking boars. Okay, there we go. I think we're all... What do I got here? Oh sweet, he's got a healing potion. Okay, don't target the black orcs. Pick a giant and stick to it. Actually, gun down the trolls real quick. Alright, the boars are eating a bunch of fire over here. Trolls is going to go down. Let's back up. Because they're going to try and punch through my main lines. I'm going to chase those boars down. Should get charge defense against large there. Okay. Let's pull the giants down. And then let's get the rune lord and go against this giant right here where he's trying to break through. Azag. Azag does have magical attacks, so we need to keep this Thane away from him. Okay. Oh, we got freaking boars back here. Get them. Get the boars. Let's get our Thane over here to help take down the chariots. Gotta keep our guns safe. This whole thing is in vain. Let's team up on this giant real quick. We just, like I said, we gotta stay away from Azag. Let's pull the giant out. Pull the giant down. Pull the giant down. Shoot the giant, please. I can't stress enough how much you should be shooting the giant right now. Shoot the giant, please. 
shoot the giant, please. The one that I actually gave you targeted orders on. Azag got through my lines over here. Let's... Crap. How did these guys punch through long beards so easy? Okay, I gotta pull back out of here. Let's pull some guys over to help out. My infantry is just not staying in the fight. Alright, it's time to just sacrifice these guys. Get over here and just put a stop on this stuff for as long as you can stop it. Okay, take the trolls down because they move faster. Stupid fear effects, too. How are they getting such good leadership on their trolls? Okay, get back over here, please. Okay, there's another troll unit coming straight at me. We got rid of some more of them. These thunders are actually still alive, some of them. Okay, keep pulling back the uh, guns. I don't want to lose my ethereal thane, so I'm going to have to keep an eye on him. Oh, I could have been using these ruins the whole time, too. Just pile in here, pull the guns back, shoot the black orcs, shoot the black orcs. Trolls. My Thane will be safe if we can keep Azag away from him. Okay, we got rid of a bunch of the trolls. Um, let's throw one of these units up here. Come on! Just can't keep all their fast-moving guys off me here. And their guys are hanging on by a thread here because I can't kill their leader. Come on, just get a couple of my guys away, please. Yeah, that's right, stay up there and shoot those guys. All right, now turn around and kill these boars. Kill them now. Kill the boars. Kill the boars. Shoot them. Shoot the boars! Okay, there we go. That's freaking trolls on the way again. Let's see if we can get a couple of these guys away. Just need anything I can to tie these guys down for a second. Shoot these trolls. How did those boars come back? Are you kidding me? Three boars and their leadership's that high? Alright, finally got rid of these guys. Let's bring these guys down here. I need to keep at least one Thunder alive, but I don't think I can outrun Azag. And then Azag has magical attacks too, which is going to make him very dangerous to my Thane. Get away from me, Azag. Okay, come on, get away from me. Yeah, these guys are like just completely single-minded on chasing my skirmishers. <laughs> It's like they just came straight through my infantry line and they haven't given up for a second. Come on! Get off me, you stupid boars! Look at these boars! Fighting down to six boars. Okay, I can't go head to head. Thane, you take them. Let's bring the loot rune lord up here. You keep running. Alright, get these dang trolls out of here. Eight of the trolls are alive with only a thousand hit points? Seems convenient. Okay, you've got to take Azag. And you've got to be successful. Get the black orcs. This guy over here. Keep those trolls from coming back. Thunders are now being chased by black orcs. I've already used my potion, and Azag is just beating the crap out of my rune lord. 
he'll do the same to my ethereal thane. Okay, shoot Azag, please. Shoot Azag, please. This is not good. Azag is gonna wreck my Thane. He's gonna absolutely wreck my Thane. I don't want to lose Lun. Get out of the fight. Just run away from him. Just stay alive. If anything, you gotta escape the battle. There we go. How are these boars still alive? <laughs> Crying out loud. 281 hit points down to four boars. Alright, I'm shooting Azag as much as I can shoot him. He's gonna kill my lord, most likely. And then these gunners over here are probably gonna die. Oh my gosh, if we if we do manage to kill Azag, it's gonna be a miracle. Finally routed the boars. I'm gonna ignore their stupid archers. And just shoot everything at Azag. Their night goblin archers are just gonna come into melee with me. That's annoying. I've got enough ammo over here. And my lord lived, which is pretty big. We've got to keep Azag's attention with this thing. What's his speed? Speed 32. Azag's faster. Alright, Azag is down to his last 500 hit points. This guy is a monster right now. Come on, Rune Lord. Oh my gosh. Come on. 137. That ward save. Let's use the foe seeker. Oops, speed me up. My rune lord's probably going to get taken out by goblin archers, which is. Oh, I really don't want Azag to kill my rune. Or uh, my ethereal thane. Come on. Route him. Shoot. For the love of goodness, please shoot him. The hammer of Gork's coming up in melee, and it may be enough to save him here. Oh my gosh, he routed. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Talk about luck here. Keep him off the battlefield. Shoot him to death. Alright, we've dealt with Azag the Slaughter, which means the rest of this should be manageable. Let's just keep our uh, lord away from those archers. Alright, Azag's out. That'll do it. Oh my gosh. Woo! Azag the Slaughter indeed. That guy was nuts! <laughs> the difficulty level, the ward save, all the giants, that was crazy. That was absolutely crazy. Those trolls were absurd too with how many kills they got. 107 kills on that troll, it's probably the ones that got through to all my skirmishers. Yeesh! That was... That was stupid. All right, but it looks like we've dealt with it temporarily, so note to self, bring more long beards. All right, vampire counts got destroyed. We finished the grudge to defeat the Spinny, which was a green skin leader, apparently. Okay. That was crazy. That was absolutely, completely stupid crazy. Not really sure how they were able to run that far away, but, um, whatever. Why am I suffering attrition out here? Because it's too far out in the Badlands, I guess. we got to go catch up with this army. Actually, these guys could probably do it. Yeah. But as soon as they finish recruiting. Now, down here, we lost a lot of stuff. Um, those longbeards with great weapons are fun in theory, but um, uh, our global recruitment pool is full right now too, so all we can do is just kind of hold out down there for the time being. That was nuts, man. That was quite a fight. This mustering hall can go to a different um, part of the settlement, so let's pull that out and put it out here. And then we'll put a different building at Eight Peaks that actually requires the level 5 settlement. Let's go ahead and spend a little money out there upgrading Black Crag safe for now. Okay. 
Let's end one more turn here. I meant to go look at the victory objectives too. I mean, obviously we're going to have to clear out all the green skins in order to obtain a victory and uh, probably the chaos as well. And then probably just own a lot of dwarf territory would be my guess. Ready for duty. Interchangeable parts. They damage some walls. Okay, I'm not worried about them damaging walls. That's least concerning to me at the moment. Alright, we gotta go put a herd on the green skins before they raise up another giant spam army like that. So I'm going to actually take this army underground. We're gonna beeline out here to Agrul Migdal. See if we can take that place down. And then this army, we can chase off the mutinous gits who are up here giving us grief. And we need to resettle over here too, so I'm just going to recruit um, a lord briefly. We'll just, uh, well not one of the ones that's, well all of them are level 6 coming out of here actually. We'll do a new one. I think we learned that the uh, even though that these guys make the dwarf warriors a lot better, it's not good enough because they break due to fear. There we go. And then we'll take him over here and we'll resettle that little place. Okay, eight peaks. Uh, we need a master engineer. Engineers Guild Hall or whatever it's called. So we're gonna build the Guild Hall. Go ahead and push up the mustering. And let's take a take a look at the victory objectives. Uh, let's short campaign. Total severity of grudges in the Great Book of Grudges is no greater than nine. Okay, that wouldn't be too hard. So we just have to get rid of a couple of these extra grudges. So you don't even have to get rid of all of them, apparently. We'd have to own this settlement, which we're about to. Uh, Oakenhammer? Which, that wouldn't be too hard. Neither would Zifbar. And then just destroy Greenskins, and then make sure that Chaos Warriors and the Warherd of Chaos are confined and Ever Chosen is injured. So, that, yeah, that's pretty manageable. We just need to finish off the rest of the Greenskin territory here. And once they're finished off, I don't see why we wouldn't be able to put a huge herd on Chaos. Anyway, hope you all enjoyed this episode. It was fun. That all giant army, man, that, that gave us a scare for a moment, right? But we managed to clean it up. We got Death Gorge, and then we're headed down here to put the uh, final hurt on the green skins, and it looks like we got Ungram down here ready to do the same thing. So this should be the end of the green skins, and then the uh, mutinous gets as well, between myself and the, uh, and the standard dwarf faction. I will see you all soon. Air of Carthage, signing out.